Hello, I'm Count Zero, and welcome to Let's Play Remember Me, Part 14. We are currently going to make our way into Le Bastille. Um, we're picking up a little behind where we left off last time, because I hadn't quite made the next checkpoint yet. But that's okay. We're not that far behind. We do deal with this lo kind of longish loading screen first. Um... Anyone on the side of this loading screen kind of notable in terms of for discussing the game, just because this is with an install. I'm not just running off the disk. So, I mean, I installed the game. It's fully on here. Not fully on here. I don't, don't know how big the full install is and how much actual game data is going on there. But I probably have enough space on my PS3's hard drive. I have to put an entire Blu-ray disc on there. Um... So, this is going for a bit. Here we go. And we are beginning. So, currently we are using the memories of one Johnny Green Teeth to make our way through the now unearthed ruins of old Paris to find a back entrance into Le Bastille. Cat in a flux chamber. That's a interesting turn of phrase. So, also remember, Johnny Green Teeth is not the most mentally stable person, so we may have some difficulties with his remembrains later on. Oh, and minefields! So, the minefield being detected here. Unfortunately, one of the minuses for how this mem remembering thing works is the mines aren't automatically re-highlighted after the fact, so you have to memorize where the landmines are. Otherwise, you get blown up like I, and take damage like I did there. And unfortunately, not really any real tr clues or cues to remind you, oh, there will be landmines there. I'm not really sure where that is. Not over here. So let's take a look at the journal real quick. So you're under technology was... Ah, the spammer. The weapon we got from Kid Christmas. Huh, he claims to have developed it, though probably not. So it uh, certainly wasn't using any of his memory hunting abilities against me in that fight a few episodes ago. Like, six episodes ago. Hmm. Right. Oh, I probably have shot that thing and gotten some points, but no turning back now. Drop down here. Okay, and that's... We really need to stop doing that. At least we slid into cover. Oh, more mines. Charming. Let's follow the footsteps more direct... Oh. Where did he go? Oh, how did he... Ah, yeah. Uh, here's the problem with this whole remembering thing. Here we get, like, gaps. Like, yep.
Yeah, that's that's really annoying. I really wish there was a way, like, with stuff like explosive, like the mines and stuff, so that they're not moving. Also, it's a really short synchronization. All right. There we go. So now we can disable the mines, which is good. And now we can see them. What the heck? All right. The manhole cover. Uh-oh. That's not good. Sorry for the creaking there earlier. I had to adjust my chair and let out a cat. Speaking of cats from earlier. How do you know I'm a... I was, so to the arrest warrant. You only just scanned me before you started talking. On the bright side, hey, we get to fight a big stompy robot. So that's always good. And I have to use a spammer on him. That's a nuisance. And also, I'm kind of spaced the controls, and it's been a while since I last played the game. By which I mean it's been about... almost a week since the last session. Ah oh well, when I start the flesh game, start the fight after they continue, I'll be starting with full health, so that's good. Here we go. Trying to remember how to do the Yeah, I remember to do the, um, junk bolt. Oh well, that's alright. Also, I'm glad to see that the glowing weak points only really sh show up when you're highlighting like that. There we go, one arm down, one to go. Almost got almost got him. Might have dodged that better. Alright, and watch that, shoot some more. There's either arm. Still attached, but it's disabled. That's good. And now the core is exposed. Okay. That's up the case. Not shooting when it's highlighted. I think this is where I need to be using the junk bolt. Remember how to do it. There it is. Okay. I remember how to check the controlling settings to see if I remember precisely what the button was for the junk bolt. Ah, uh, well. It would be nice if they had like, a nice controller map on here, but that's probably asking a bit too much. God forbid somebody take a break from the game and forget something. Alright, so I hit... I think I hit him that time. That hurt. Alright, and dot. Uh, you be dodging that. Okay, so I can take him out now. Ooh! Good to know you can actually survive those quick time events. Well, they just insta give to you. I apparently need to have a fairly clear head-on shot of the critter. Ah, 
this is a pain in the neck. I still have enough charge yet. Medium shoot. And there we go. Now we can destroy him. Alright, and stupid quick time event. Got him. Alright, much better. Ooh, well. That sewer's probably been festering there for a while. So next time, we will start making our way through the prison itself and get our introductory chapter cutscene. I'll see you then.